everyone it's Nicole and I'm here to put embellishments on these paper kits that we're going to be using this weekend at the crop my virtual crop and I pulled a bunch of paper kits yesterday I did 12 and now I'm going to add embellishments to each of these and do you remember these where I said I'm going to keep them closed so that I can add them to the layouts? So I'm going to make sure I keep looking at those. Oh, this is like gray. Oh, I already have one on there. So I don't need that, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to make sure that I add quite a bit of embellishments. I always add way more than what I need. But I kind of like it that way because then... When I'm putting my pages together, I have options. We like options. So this one here is going to be green and black. So I got this, got a few of these. And what I like about these is they kind of, you know, if I choose to go with one of these, then they kind of start my layout. And then I have this to boot, right? So that can kind of come up with an idea for a layout for me plus I have those film strips yay okay now let's take out my gray digital file and I think where the background is screen I'm going to go with gray as far as you know for my embellishment foundation and I might add some green stuff towards, you know, as my finishers. I think I'd like to, hmm, should I go with tags or should I go with, I don't know. I'll go with tags. I'll go with these tags. I was just looking for three that are the same tone. So we'll do that. And then, I don't know if I'm going to get like maybe labels that are um, in green instead of gray. I know I am loving the butterflies, so I think I'm going to maybe put a few butterflies on here if I can find any in here. I think I have quite a few files that I need to reprint here. And my printer, my printer is sick. <laughs> I'm having issues with my printer. Um, I need to get some. I, I did find what the solution that I need to kind of mix together to kind of clean out my print head. And it is, what is it? I don't know like the specifics, like amounts, but it is distilled water which I have some here some um, like alcohol I have some here not to drink but like um, like it's 70 proof uh, alcohol and or 99 percent proof or whatever um, that you have and then some ammonia and that's what I don't have so I've been trying to you know see where I could get that and it's proven a little bit difficult to find I just haven't had a chance I'm sure if I go to like a hardware store I'll be able to find it but we just haven't been able to get there that's my thing right now is just to be able to get there so there is no small butterflies in here so I definitely need Uh, let's do small butterflies. I'll do, oh, okay, I'm going to throw this pen out. It's driving me nuts. Um, light gray for sure. Okay. So I don't know if I'll be able to print it because I can, I can get my printer to print sometimes, <laughs> not all the time. Okay, let's get some black uh, labels here. So this is good. We'll get that. I don't 
know if I want flowers or I, I want butterflies. I want butterflies. Maybe I can put some. Oh, there's there's two. Let's put that. And I got a big one, but I think I'd like like small, small ones. I think I want some green um, owls. So let's get that because I think that would look really cute. Let's get this here. Now, a lot of times I try to pre-cut my digital prints. But because I kind of have the challenges already there, everything's, you know, not predetermined. And I've gotten to the point where I'm pretty quick at putting some layouts together. I don't think I will. Or maybe I just like every like maybe just do six of them like maybe not cut out layout one cut out layout two and then it can kind of stretch out the time so while we're chatting I can be cutting out stuff I don't know I don't know 12 layouts in two days is is um, is a lot but like I said, you know, I have the challenges all figured out. So I just need to, I just need to put the layouts together. So that's, should make it so it's a little quicker, but we will see. We'll see. But today we're going to put embellishments on three of them. And then we'll, you know, tomorrow we'll come back and we'll add more embellishments on three more page kits. And the funny thing is as much as much as I love page kits, I think the adding of the embellishments of all the stuff that you need to do to make a page kit, I think the adding of the embellishments is probably my least favorite and I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe because it's like you're almost there, but you still have that one little thing. And then once this is done, then yay, you know, you got you got your page kit done. But the benefit of having page kits outweighs my, and it's not that I hate it. That All I'm saying is it's not my favorite. It's probably my least favorite part. Okay. So I, like I mentioned yesterday, I have 10 trays and there's 12 page kits. So I do have a couple of um, plastic bags that I'm going to be putting the first two in. And then the rest of the 10 will be in on those trays. So all my embellishments, well, not all, because, you know, you have situations like this going on where that's just mixed embellishments in there. <laughs> I have to go through that and separate. And I do that a lot, like often, but it still gets like that because I do put a lot of pages together. So if you do something a lot then you know what I mean like you're going to end up with a lot of um, scraps a lot of embellishments that are not separated just because I do put a huge amount of pages together so here we go here's page kit number one. Oh, I didn't go through the green stuff but that's okay we can do that now and then we'll just stick it in there I don't need a whole bunch I just need a couple and then 
like I said, I probably won't even be using a third of those, but um, having having um, options is key. Having options is key when I'm putting these pages together. Okay, I think that's enough. I got a few green embellishments there. So we will put that in there and do this. Okay, now let's do blue. I'll stop the recording because I have to go get the blue files for this and then we'll be back. Okay, so we're back with the files. Now, when I started um, organizing my digital prints, if you remember, at first I was doing my digital prints by file. So I would put all the two inch circles together, the one and a half inch. And then I was like, oh, I'm starting to have a lot of that. So how about if I, you know, do it by color? But now my files are so big and they're, it's, they're not even all in there. So now I'm going, okay, what do I need to do? Do I need to go back to storing by shape? And then when I, you know, work on a page and I can say, okay, this time around, I want to use viewfinders and I want to use, you know, owls. So then I would take out the owls. I think I want to go back to that. That's going to be, ugh, that's going to be a lot of work, <laughs> like a lot of work to redo all of that again. But I think I might do that. It might take me, might take me a little bit of time to get that done just because um, I think it'll make it easier for me to, okay, let me just check what colors we have there. Like maybe if I did in the birds, I don't even know if I have all the birds here and see that's where maybe I could do with the yellow because there's yellow in there, right? Um, and I can say, okay, this time I want to use this, 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 and then take the files out for that. And then next time, this is what I want to do and take the files out for that. These are the newest birds that we released. And I stinking love them. They're called simple birds, but they're so cute. I love them. And you have it facing that way, facing this way, and then just kind of face on, but just a little bit tilt that way or that way. So then, you know, if you're embellishment cluster is over here you want the bird to be facing into the layout and if not if the embellishment cluster is over here then you want that bird so it's kind of it's kind of fun so let's cut these out we'll get three 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 different sizes okay and one of them just one of them i'll get where is it one of them i'll get both direction because i know that one of the clusters is going to be like coming from the other way so we sh we'll see okay now what do i need so i guess i'm going to do birds and butterflies on this one and then I'll do some uh, some arrows just like this. Just like this. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's do that. Okay, now, yellow, 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 yellow. I'm just looking for the blue, blue embellishments, and then maybe yellow. I think yellow is the only one that I don't have. Oh, I don't, I don't have it in there. I don't know where it is. That's okay. We'll just go with blue. We will just go with blue. So this will be page kit number two. Let's see here. Let's see what else we can add in there. That's going to make it maybe on this layout. Huh. That would go well with my um, December stuff. So I'm going to put it there. <clears throat> it's right behind me. So I just put it in. I put it behind me because it's that's where it is. But my December daily or documenting December, I'm done. Now there's still stuff to add. Obviously, I have to add the photos. And then the, you know, the days when I do them, then I can say, oh, this day, you know, maybe I'm going to add extra embellishments. But my foundation pages are done. So putting the rest of, oh, look at that. That coordinates perfectly. Um, my base pages are done. My foundation pages are done. So to me, it's like uh, my page kits are done, right? But I, I, I took it one step further this time is I literally glue everything down instead of just throwing a bunch of embellishments into some page kits. I actually glue them down and I wasn't planning on it. I was just working on it. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I, I basically glued everything down. Mm, that's okay. <laughs> it's done now. Like that was when I first started. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep doing that because that wasn't that bad. And then it didn't take me that, that long. And now it's done. Now it's just, oh, look, I had put orange. Okay, so what I'll do is I probably won't use that in just this. So that, because then the yellow works with that. Okay. We will see. Okay, I need some labels here. Something. A little something. Okay, so my phone rang and I don't know where I was, but I think I was pretty much done. That last page kit. So let's, okay, I think I'll go one light. Or should I go, I pretty much did all circles for the first three. I try not to always use uh, viewfinders. But I don't think I have. I don't know if I have any. Let me check here. Like I said, I am so low on these digital prints. I'm going to have to get those printed soon. I'm going to try today, I think, and see if I can get a few, a few of them sort of spit out of my uh, printer. Let's see if I can get some viewfinders and some butterflies. Okay, I don't think I want the stripe ones because it's on a wood grain. So, okay. Alrighty. Yeah, so I think I'm going to I'm going to take the time and separate these by shapes. One, my files won't be as big. So, they'll be a little bit more manageable. What I might, you know, what I'll do is let's say uh the viewfinders. The viewfinders there's quite a bit though. There's the 2 inch, the 1 and a half inch, the 1 inch, and then there's 
polka dots. And so I might do one with just the, the plain and then do some with the stripes and maybe the polka dots I can put together. And then, you know, do one and a half inch circle and put them all together. And, or maybe I can just do all circles together. It, I guess it de just depends on how, oh, that's not good. I didn't cut it all the way through. And that one, I cut it right there. So I guess I have to cut out one more. And this one is garbage. Um, so, yeah. We'll see how I get those organized. But once I figure it out, I'll let you know. I'll show you what I've done. And... Um, and then I'll kind of work with it for a while and then, or maybe I'll wait and kind of do it, work with it for a while and then kind of let you know how, how it went. Okay. So I think this one too, I'm going to do the yellow birds because of the yellow paper. So we'll grab a few birds here. I was looking for some butterflies, but man. I went on a kick of using butterflies and hmm, I've used up quite a few of those. And let me see here. Maybe I want some yellowish arrows. So we'll do these just like that. Okay, and then should I get, yeah, let's do some light labels. Just like that. Just like that. And, oh, I only have two birds. Let's get another bird in here. Uh-oh. Did I leave them in here somewhere? Yep, just like the arrows. Let's put that aside. Let's do one of these little guys. Okay. Now... I have some of these. We'll add some different stuff in there. And that's going to be it for today. I'm just doing three a day. Like I said, it's, I, and it might be because I have done so many page kits in the last few months. It's ridiculous. <laughs> So it's, you know, like I said, it's, it's kind of like not my favorite thing to do right now is adding embellishments. But if I just do a little bit every day and let's say if I do three, if I do three every day, it doesn't sound like much, but, um, I usually only do one page, maybe two pages a day. So most times it's one and it's not from the extra page kits I do because I, I do page kits for my patrons and, um, you know, for YouTube and all that stuff. So if I do extra ones like this and I do three a day, then a little butterfly, yay. I'm going to end up that I'm going to end up with some extras. So I'm I'm okay with just doing a few. Let's put that in there. Okay, so while I'm finishing off, um, this weekend is our virtual crop. It's Saturday and Sunday. And we're, well, there's 12 challenge on the Facebook group already. The 12 challenges have are on there. So when you make your page kits or when you get ready, you can... Um, have those in mind and then we're going to put those 12 pages together all in one weekend. 
Okay, and the link is in the description box below. It's $10 for 12 hours of crafting. You get two free digital files. During the crop, I do some draws for more digital files, free digital files. We do a ton of chatting and laughing, and it's a whole lot of fun. Okay. All right. That comes to the end of that. And I think I already went through the yellow ones, didn't I? Yeah. So that's it. That's the three page kits for today. So we have nine more left to do. We're going to do, you're, there's going to be uploaded three a day. And then once I get all these done, like I'm not going to wait till like Friday to do the last one. So what I'm going to do then is going to, I'm going to assign a challenge to each one of these and I'm going to add some um, pictures to it so that when Friday comes, I'll be all ready. But that's it. That's going to end the video for today. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.